everybody. Whilst we've been in lockdown in my family, we've invented a new game. It's called Ice Cube Hockey. You might have to change the name of the game to something a bit more exciting. Guess what? You need an ice cube. So I put my ice cubes in the fridge. I've got them all nicely frozen. You also need two players. So here's my son Toby, who's going to play against me. You need goals. We've made ours out of um, knives. Don't use sharp knives, that would be a bit dangerous. And we've got our hockey sticks. I've got a pink cup, Toby's got a blue cup. And the aim of the game, it's quite simple. You've got to try and get your ice cube through your opponent's goal. Oh, goal to Toby. Oh, goal to Toby. Oh, goal to Toby. If our ice cube hockey rink, this cardboard, was the best surface to play on, because the ice cube doesn't slide over it very, very easily. There's a force called friction. And when you push something, the thing that stops it moving is friction, the force of two objects rubbing against each other. And I wondered if we could test the surface of our ice cube hockey rink to find one that had least friction. So I've got a sheet of the different surfaces I'm going to test. So the first one is cardboard. And well, I thought that would be good. But in the end, it was tricky and it stopped. Oh, I've got a bit of water on my paper. The cube stopped easily. So I'm going to try something else. And I've got a good idea. I'm going to try this blanket. I wonder if the blanket will be a better surface to play on. Hmm, what do you think, Toby? Um, I don't think it will. Okay, so maybe the blanket will have less friction. Maybe it will have more friction. You might notice that some of the surfaces are a bit more bumpy than others. And I wonder if that affects the amount of friction. So our surface material is a blanket. And I predict that it won't work well. Let's have a go. Are you ready, Toby? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Oh, you have to hold the blanket flat. Oh, no, it's not sliding too well, is it at all? Oh, he's got a goal again! <laughs> okay, so my prediction with the blanket was that it was difficult. So we predicted it correctly. The cube uh, did not slide. Okay. If you find writing a bit tricky, you might want to do a picture instead. So if it worked well, you could do a smiley face. If it didn't work well, maybe a sad face. Now we're going to try playing on a plastic bin bag because I think that will work well. It's more smooth, isn't it, Toby? I think it might. I think it won't be the best thing, but it will be better than the other two. Yeah. Okay, there's a few bumps, but it's pretty smooth. So I'm filling in my sheet. Bin bag. And my prediction that it will work well because it's smooth. Are you ready, Toby? We'll have to hold the bag flat. Ready? Go. Yay! Well, that worked pretty well. The bin bag was smooth. There were a couple of bumps. So I'm going to say it was quite smooth. Quite smooth and slidey. And I'm going to put a smiley face because I think that worked quite well. Now, last of all, we're going to try just on this kitchen surface here. And we'll see, because that's very smooth, if there's no friction, and if our game of ice cube hockey works really well here. So, I'm going to make my prediction. So the kitchen 
work top and I think it's going to work extremely well. I think it will be excellent. I agree. Do you agree, Toby? Why, why do you think it will work well? As just by running your hand along it, you can see that uh, it's easier to um, move your hand on than if it was um, the blanket, your hand gets caught easily. Yeah, so you can feel it's a smooth surface with less friction. Oh, you ready? <laughs> shot off straight away. Okay, so wh what I would like you to do is I would like you to have a go with different surfaces. Let me know which one works the best and let me know who's the ice cube hockey champion in your house.